guys today I'm filming the last video in a mini series on if I had to cut my collection in half. I believe this is the fourth year that I've done this series. I will have the previous years linked down below and I will have this year's playlist linked in a card and I should have mentioned this in my last video as well but earlier this year I did another project on out of all the things in my collection what would I actually repurchase and that was even more narrowed down than this so if you want to check that out I will have it linked for you of course I've gotten more things since then so my opinions on some things have changed since then and like I mentioned in the last video it is really interesting to look at the products that I chose to either keep or pass this year because some of these things I did have them last year and they were in a different category so that's a little bit interesting last video I went through and explained my picks for complexion and cheeks today I'm going to talk about eyes and lips going to be a long video I will try to do some timestamps in case you're not interested and I did skip some categories like liquid liners, eye primers, those are a little bit boring, but everything else is included. For brow products, I had 12, so that meant keep six, pass six. This was super easy for me. I have like all of my staple products and they happen to be all like slightly different categories or type of products. So the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder, I'm really liking that. And then my Benefit Precisely My Brow Goof Proof Brow Pencils. And then I do have three brow gels. The Fluff Up Brow Wax, I have not tried that one yet, but I feel like that would be like a really cool thing to try. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel has that intense hole that I love. And then the Benefit Gaming Brow Gel is my favorite tinted version. Then in the passes, I have not yet tried that Lawless Brow Pencil and Brow Gel. So maybe once I try them, I'll change my mind. But I got these in PR and they are appearing to be a shade too dark for me, but I'm sure I can make them work. The Benefit Brow Setter is not my favorite because of the brush. I have the old and new version of the Benefit Brow Pomade. I just think I'm too heavy handed for a pomade. And then I have the Patrick Ta Soap Brows. I just never got on with the soap brow trend, but I do want to give this a try. I got it in a kit. That's the only reason why I have it. For shadow sticks, I had 20, keep 10, pass 10. And when I got down to the last few, it was a little bit challenging. I just wanted to keep more, but you can see I don't have a ton of variety in the keeps. And with some categories of products, I wanted to keep variety with other things. I chose to keep things I thought I would get the most use out of. That's what I did here all Laura Mercier shadow sticks as you can see all neutral colors then with the passes I've got the brands that are not Laura Mercier so one from Bobbi Brown KVD and Jouer which are all ones I would like to use up likely would not repurchase and then I just got rid of the Laura Mercier ones that were just shades I did not think I would use as much for single shadows I have 42 and I just realized that I actually had kept 22 and passed on 20 so I did not do the math right I I guess if I had to boot one it would probably be the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in Martini it's a beautiful golden olive but I definitely have that shade in some palettes I wouldn't say it's like the most unique color so if I had to boot another one that's what it'd be and then I'm keeping the more wearable shades and then some that are fun so my M Cosmetics Dewy Shadows my Auric Shadows which would be the maroon one and the olive one dose of colors ideal duo in a nice neutral shade those mac holiday shadows are the ones i kept they're a little bit more fun we've got purple green blue and then more of like a neutral ish color and i've got some from ciate which i initially probably would have passed but i tried that recently again and it just looks so beautiful la masca shadow pot hourglass in more of like a copper and a burgundy shade MAC Shadow Kaja Stack Urban Decay Eyeshadow, which I know looks like such a boring taupey color, but it's one of the best shimmer taupes I've ever tried. One of the Jaclyn Shadow Pots, my favorite color, and then the Tarte one. So I do feel good about that. It was really hard with these passes though, because I ended up putting the other five of my Jaclyn Cosmetics, which I do like. They have almost like a cooling wet feel on the eye, but they are thin as well so I, I don't have any issue with like too much product or creasing or anything but you know they're not as easy to apply they're not as like thick and opaque as my Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots so I did put a couple of those shades in here I put Sun Drenched and Beach Bay which I think are beautiful but again not that unique and then I have a couple Tarte 
shadow pots in here that I could see myself potentially decluttering. Some of these I had put in my everyday makeup basket for this past month so that I could test them out and see if I could let them go. I have a Kaja stack in here. These Urban Decay shadows, I just don't use them. These Natasha Denona mini shadows are from palettes I don't have in the full size except for the retro. I just think they're so precious, but none of these are colors that I'm like totally obsessed with. So for small palettes, I had 33, keep 17, pass 16. Looking at it now, I think I probably should have switched mini Zendo and Leela. Zendo was a keep, Leela is a pass. I think Leela would have added a little bit more variety. And I really do like a couple of the colors in mini Zendo, but I don't necessarily have to have those in my collection. So I think I should have swapped those, even though I haven't used Leela in over a year. But then looking at the other keeps, there are some of these palettes here that I just love them as a whole. But then in particular, there are a couple of the Tasha Genoa palettes that I just kept for a few of the matte shades. So the full size five pan, the Jubilee, those first two mattes I love, especially for spring. Then for the mini palettes, the mini love, that first shimmer I think is so unique, but I really love that first matte. And then in the mini crush palette, shades number two and three, those mattes I really loved. And those two mini Natasha Nota palettes, I wore them together so much in winter to give me my staple mattes. And then I just switched up the shimmer on the lid. And then the other palettes here, I just love them as a whole. The passes are hard when I look at them. I think these are all great quality, but just palettes I don't reach for as much as the others or feel so drawn to. The mini nudes from Huda Beauty were probably the hardest ones to put over here because the quality is great. I do really like them. I have not used them in a while, which is why they've ended up over here. And I do not like the formula of her minis as much as her full size palettes. However, these minis I think are way better than the other ones that she's done. And also with the M Cosmetics, I no longer feel like I have to buy one shade of every new M Cosmetics product. It's too expensive of a brand for that. You know, I can't return things easily and I just feel like these palettes, while the quality is great, the shades aren't that unique and I would have not purchase them if I could have gone back in time. I'm also so sorry if you hear any dripping sounds throughout this video. We have got some like awful air conditioning issues. It is on right now and it's making a dripping sound from the ceiling, but yet there's no water on the floor yet. So that would be something to explore, but it's like a really like gross sort of like wet sound. So I'm so sorry about that. For large palettes, I have 85. It was pretty easy for me to pick 40 to keep and 40 to pass, but those last five I was having such a hard time with, I decided, Heather, think about this later. And I have now made a decision on those, so let's just start with them. So for these five, I have two mainstream, three indies, but some of these are not available anymore. And I was really trying to think, okay, Heather, do you want to keep palettes that add variety to your collection or you think you get more use out of because I think you know these are all good formulas which has made it challenging which is what made it challenging but out of these doing the math I could keep three out of the five so I have a few days this week use the Anastasia Nouveau palette for work and while I love the shades in here this is hella powdery and I know ABH is powdered but this seems more powdery than her other palettes for some reason so because of that I'm going to say this is a pass it's still challenging because I love those colors they're so me but I'm a pass and then my other pass is going to be the Kaleidos Flower Punk these lighter shades I think are fine but I love these colors right here but this is just one look for me and these shades are similar to what I have in the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. So even though it's a great formula and that was really hard, those are the ones that I chose to pass. And then the keep ones would be the Kaleidos Futurism Electro Turquoise palette. I created two looks with this and I really loved the both of them. And this is something I'm keeping for variety sake. Then we've got the ColourPop Liz McGuire What Dreams Are Made Of palette. I created three looks with this that I really, really loved. And of course, you guys know, these mattes are screaming my name. And then last, I'm keeping the Kaleidos Angelica Neekfist Club Nebula palette. 
I love this bottom row. I think I made four different looks with this palette that I really liked and I would love to create some more. The reason I was thinking about decluttering this, not actually, putting it in the past pile I mean, is because of this top row. I'm not really much of a blue and this type of green gal, but I feel like this is just so special and like obviously like so coveted that I just couldn't even hypothetically pass it on. But now for the keeps, funny enough, there were 20 mainstream palettes and 20 indie palettes. So for the mainstream ones, Natasha Denona, ColourPop, Huda Beauty, Sigma, those are some of my favorite formulas. And then I have one from Melt Cosmetics, Patrick Ta, and Too Faced. With all these mainstream palettes, they're all formulas that I love, but these are more like wearable neutral shades. For the most part, the most like fun one in here would be Natasha Denona Sunrise, which is a little bit more colorful, but great for summer for me. And then the Yucca palette, which is a lovely for fall. I'm wearing that today. So then for the Indie Keeps, there are some that I have not used yet, but I have good feelings about only two that I've not used. So we've got quite a mix here. Inslee Rain Cosmetics, Give Me Glow, It's Belle. Adept Cosmetics, Kaleido, Sydney Grace, Glaminatrix, Unearthly, Odin's Eye, Fantasy Cosmetica, Sugar Drizzle, Shroud, and Glam Light. Such a gorgeous selection looking at these. And which, something that may surprise you, surprise me, the Fantasy Cosmetica Rogue Palette, which is like a blue palette, I put in the keeps. I loved some of the looks that I created and I do think that this is good for variety sake and I for some reason feel like these blues are slightly more wearable and between these and the Kaleidos Electro Turquoise I'm like set on blues but I'll I did just keep that palette from Kaleidos and Angelica which has more blues so yeah I'm set on blues. So then for my passes there were more mainstream ones than indie ones. When I took my picture I made a mistake and I put one of my Lunar Beauty palettes with my mainstream ones just because of the shape. I stuck it right there with my ABH and Sigma palettes and I was not about to retake the picture, sorry. But the passes, some of the Glam Light ones, except for that Dirty Martini palette, I have not been wowed by the Glam Light shadows. I feel like the mattes need to be built up a lot and uh, just not my fave here. And then the Lunar Beauty palettes, I do think are good, but they didn't just quite make the cut. Alamar ones, great formula, really pretty shades. I just don't reach for them as much. And then we've got Sydney Grace, Tiny Marvels, not my favorite shade selection, Unearthly Leather and Lace, boring shade selection, the Odin's Eye Flora Story. I did not love the formula of this one, the mattes in particular. Unearthly Lore, the shimmers are amazing. The mattes are, are good quality, but not unique mattes for me. Then these Fancy Cosmetica ones, Sorcerer I have not used yet but it's very bright and then the Druid one I think is great and I would have loved to have kept that one and then the It's Bell ones at the bottom I just need to use those more I think it's because there's such a variety of shades in there they're all shimmer palettes which I love but because there's such a variety within the different palettes I'm not able to easily pick a season to put it in which you guys know was like a hang up for me and then this next picture was probably my hardest passes which would be some of those mainstream ones Oma Beauty Anastasia, Sigma, and then I also have like a Too Faced Gingerbread Spice, which is not that hard of a pass. And then last picture, Natasha Denona, the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I'm always going to keep that one. And again, part of my hang up is I reach for it in the spring for the pastels and almost never use the neutrals because I think that they're not necessarily for the same season. So I need to be better about that. And then some of these ColourPop ones were hard at for a site. It's a great, more like fall tone, almost all matte palette. If it would have had more shimmers in it, it probably would have been a keep. So some tough decisions there. And then the last one was a little bit tough as well. Those LA Girl palettes, I think are great quality, but they're just such honkers that with the way that I store them, I don't reach for them as much. And then my Pat McGrath palettes, which I think are good, but not necessarily worth the price. So as I was going through taking the pictures for these palettes, I did put some of the passes to the side as things that I would like to sell because it's just too hard for me to just like 
let them go for free. So I was going to show you that here, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I think I would do a Instagram reel on that. And hopefully I can have that up by the time this video goes up and it will be linked down below in case you're interested in that. And please let me know if you're interested in buying anything and we can talk about prices. Her pencil liners, I have 31, keep 16, pass 15. This was a little bit challenging for me. I wish I could keep just like three more of them, but when it comes down to it, I feel pretty good with my keeps. I have a good amount of neutrals and some more colorful shades. So mostly a lot of ColourPop here. I kept all four of my Nabla liners, one from Persona, one of the Kaleidos Multichrome liners, which I have not tried yet, but looks amazing. And then also a turquoise from Too Faced, which is so good. I wish I could have kept Dose of Colors, Teddy, Persona Bronze, and Melt Cosmetics baked. I really wish I could have just slid those over into the Keeps the area. And then for the past ones, I feel pretty good about that. I don't know yet that I could actually let go of any of them, but maybe next year as I'm using them or not using them. For mascaras, I have 16, keep eight, pass eight. This was not that hard for me, although there are several formulas here that I've not tried. And just based on reviews and the brush, I'm making a guess on whether I think I'd like them or not. So... The ones that I have tried that I know I like would be the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Best Lower Lashes Mascara. And then I love the Benefit Bad Gal Bang and the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. The ones I've not tried yet, Tarte Tartlet Lawless, The One and Done, Lancome Le Hypnose 8, the Lash Rocket Mascara from Freck, and the Tower 28 Make Waves. Then for the passes, I really love Rimmel Lash Accelerator in the past, but right now I feel like it's just fine. Maybelline Sky High, I didn't love it as much as I thought I would. Benefit, Their Real Magnet, not that special. The Ilia one, not that special. And then I have not used the other four mascaras, so we'll see after I use them if I change my mind. But I have so few that I'm going to keep all these and pan them. I think last year I ended up decluttering some, but I'm going to try to work through all of these. For lip balms, I have eight. Keep four, pass four. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and the Jack Black Intense Therapy. The Lawless one I've only used a couple of times, but it's really good so far. I have not yet tried the Bleep. That will be the next potted balm I'm on to. And for the passes, I was not impressed with the Sigma, even though a lot of people love it. The Kopari Tripeptide Lip Cloud is weird and grainy. The Lip Glossy, I think, is nice, but I don't need it. The Jack Black Night Mode Lip Treatment, I have only used it a couple of times so far. So we'll see how I feel after I use it more. But that's probably the one that I could be on the fence on, but the other ones I would love to use up and then not repurchase. So this was pretty simple. For lip liners, I have 23, keep 12, pass 11. And I would like to make a change here. So I initially kept Persona Rosewood, which is a really wonderful, like warm tan. I don't really have many lip colors that are that shade. So I don't need that one for variety's sake. And I like to swap it with the Jacqueline Cosmetics Cupcake, which is a really nice, pinky mauve lip liner and I have more lipsticks that would go with that one and it's a really nice formula so I would switch those I thought about doing the rare beauty one which I still think is very nice but I think I'd swap with the Jaclyn but the other keeps of course my favorites from Colourpop Little One Razor Bound Aquarius O Snap and BFF really love the Persona formula the shade that I would keep is Almond. Such a great lighter warm nude. The Natasha Jonah formula is so nice and that's a gorgeous color. Dominique Cosmetics, I was impressed with that formula. And then the light and medium, the more pinky shades from Tower 28. Then passing on the other Persona liners that are just like a little darker. The brown Tower 28. Dose of Colors is not my favorite formula. The Buxom one is like fine. That was a freebie anyway. The one that was probably the hardest would be the ColourPop one that is in different packaging. That's a color good and plenty. A little bit more of like slightly terracotta rosy shade. It's so pretty. But again, I don't have a ton of lip colors to match that. So that's how these really ended up over here. I might be able to declutter a couple of these. I would love to pan some of them, but we all know lip liner 
unless you are Alex from One Beauty Addict, just takes eons. For bolt lipsticks, I had 25, so keep 13 past 12. This was super easy. Kept all six of my Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Pumping Lip Serums. I love that formula. I also love the Buxom Full Force lipsticks. And I'm so disappointed because they've discontinued these and brought out something else that, like, of course, has different colors. But the two shades I chose to keep would be Heartbreaker, which is more pink, and Goddess, which is more of a warm nude. Kept both of my Milani color fetish mattes. That's such a good formula. And I would honestly be fine just with those, but because I could keep three more, of course I did. So the Rare Beauty Humble, really pretty color. Charlotte Silvery Pillow Talk, great shade. And then the MAC Lipstick in Laissez Faire. Then with the passes, if I could have kept one more of these, it would have been MAC Tre Blase. But I honestly probably could have gone like Either way, I am not in love with MAC lipsticks. This is my favorite formula, the Love Me formula. But it also passed on my MAC tinted lip balms. I wish I never bought them. Clinique Black Honey is like whatever to me. The regular MAC lipsticks, whatever to me. The Buxom lipsticks, I passed on Fly Girl and Heartbreaker. I just wouldn't use those colors as much. And then I've got some like tinted lip balms from Rare Beauty, Persona, and ColourPop fine something I would like to pan but I knew I would not repurchase jumbo lip crayons I had nine keep five pass four pretty simple keeping both my tower 28 my Laura Mercier Maybelline and then out of the shades I have of the M Cosmetics I do really like magic hour the most I do like the Venetian Rose shade a lot so I would have loved to have been able to keep that one too but I couldn't and then Angel is not my favorite shade I want to pan that one the Tarte Lippy Lingerie and Expose I think is really good, but I think I should not have repurchased it. I should have just stayed, you know, using up the one that I had previously because I feel like I'm just not into it anymore, although it is still a good product. And then the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lipstick is like a fine formula, but not all that special. For liquid lipsticks, I have 22. Kept basically like all the more neutral shades in the like a vampy color. My favorite formulas here would be the Buxom Flow and Plumping Lip Mattes. The Dose of Colors ones that are in different color packaging are Velvet Lips, not the new Velvet Mousse, just Velvet. And that formula was so incredible. One's more of a mauve and one is a warm shade. And then I don't even remember all of the names of the five other colors I kept. I think Flirty, Warm and Fuzzy, Nude Mood, Truffle, and oh can't think of the other one off the top of my head. And then of course, M Cosmetics Rose Nude, Great Liquid Lipstick, Sephora Blackberry Sorbet. Then the passes, I have Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks in Bear With Me, Stone, and uh, oh, what's the more pastel -y color? Rosebud. Those shades aren't as flattering to me as the other ones. M Cosmetics Faded Clementine is pretty and it is unique, but I don't use it that much. The Dose of Colors Velvet Mousse Formula, not my favorite. And then I got rid of all of my more vampy Dose of Colors Liquid Lips, but I feel like I would like to swap one out because recently to a wedding, I wore the shade Mood and I loved it on me. I absolutely loved it. So I wish I could make that swap and with whatever dose of colors liquid lipstick shade that i'm forgetting i'll have to put it on the screen whichever one i'm forgetting let's swap those out but with liquid lipsticks in general once they dry up i'm gonna get rid of them it's not a lip form that i'm into at the moment only it knocked me out because for lip glosses i have 76. i should not have almost as many glosses as i have palettes you know what i'm saying that's wrong so keeping 38 passing 38 and this was actually decently easy for me and I've been doing a great job of painting gloss this year I'm so proud of myself and impressed but then I just keep buying more and then I just cancel out all that wonderful progress so for the keeps most of my tower 28 and my buxom those are some of my favorite formulas and then all of my full-size lawless ones my Maybelline lifter glosses and then I've got some more miscellaneous ones there. M Cosmetics, Fit Glow Beauty, Vesca, Rowan, Natasha, Denona, Makeup by Mario, and Fenty. Love all those colors and formulas. Then 
with my passes. A lot of these are things that I would love to use up and then not repurchase, but that will obviously take eons. So some of these I'm sure I'll end up decluttering, but that's basically how I feel about all of them over here. My Kosas Wet Lip Oils, such pretty colors and nice formula. I don't love the scent. The Merit Lip Oils I think are good, but overpriced, but I really love a couple of those shades. I don't really do clear lip glosses, so I want to use up the one from In Beauty, the Full Size Lawless. The Mini Lawless ones, the shades are pretty but not quite my favorite. Would love to pan those as well. The Kaja glosses are a little sticky for my preference. That Shimmery Tower 28, I'm pan that one next year. The Cali Ray ones are just like fine. I don't love a squeeze tube. And then the Jaclyn Lip Oils, good, would not repurchase. Dose of Colors Lip Oil does not feel like a lip oil. Naturium Phyto Glow Lip Balm. I think because it is tinted in a squeeze tube that I don't use it as much. That Fenty Heat Gloss Balm. I do like that one, but I have other similar shades not in a plumping formula. Those mini Buxom Glosses, I just haven't reached for them. Bobbi Brown has got a free gift. I haven't tried that one. The hardest ones for me to put in this pass pal be those ones from Milani, Soft Rose, and Rosewood because it's such a good formula and those are pretty shades. Those other Buxom full size ones I just don't use as much. Lunar Beauty is in my current project pan and then Morphe Madison Beer and then like the L'Oreal. Fine, don't need. So I can see myself decluttering a couple of these, but really, like I said, I would love to pan them, but I just know it's going to take me ages and I just won't stop buying new glosses. And my Sephora cart, of course, I've got gloss sets in there. Of course, I do because I'm sick. So, guys, I know this was a long video. Sorry for being a bit rambly, but those are my thoughts on all of the eye and lip products that I have and whether I would keep them or pass them with these series i do often add things to my list of products that i want to pan in the future and then i do usually end up adding things to chopping block or decluttering things from this series so it can be helpful more than just like a fun entertaining project but i would love to see if you guys would be interested in doing this with your collection and i would love to see it on instagram or youtube or please let me know in the comments i would love to hear your thoughts on the products that I have and if you would have done the same as me with keeping or passing or made a different decision and I of course especially with the palettes would love to hear your all's opinions on different formulas and maybe colors you think would go nicely together but I want to thank you all so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon bye guys